Well, we made it to another weekend. Thank goodness. Don't we all look forward to Fridays? I actually, I kind of start looking forward to Thursdays because I just know I'm close to the weekend. <laughs> we have got two items we're going to open tonight. One is a case of Spectra Basketball, which just came out today. And the second is the back half of a case of Prism Baseball that we started on Wednesday night, which was its release date. Before we get started ripping into things, though, there is a little bit of information that we go over, so let's get rolling with that. Feedback, I have that automated on eBay, guys. That's just so you don't ever have to wait on me. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you should instantly get the same in return. And, of course, the second thing there is just to say thank you. I appreciate you being here, spending part of your Friday with me. We are next looking at breaks that are coming up. So this stuff is already listed on eBay and uh, we will be breaking it over the next five days. So tomorrow night, we're going to break a third case of Leaf Best of Sports, and we'll break a second case of Spectra Basketball. Sunday night is an off night. Monday night, we're going to open Bowman Baseball. It'll be the start of a new case, and we're going to break a half case of it. On Tuesday, Spectra Basketball shows up again, as does Prism Baseball, which will be, again, a half case break, but it will be the start of a new case. On Wednesday, we have a, one new release schedule for Wednesday, and that's Legacy Football. It's a brand new product for Panini. And we're going to break it by the 12 box inner case, and that's going to have a lot of cards in it. Uh, probably close to 1,600 cards, something like that, in the break. But Veteran Base is not going to ship to the teams in that break, okay, guys? It's going to get, you know, you're going to get uh, numbered cards, inserts, parallels, autographs, relics. That kind of stuff will ship to the teams as normal, but veteran base cards do not ship to the teams. It has its own bidding spot. Both of our breaks tonight are paid shipping breaks. Uh, we don't have any free shipping breaks this evening, and uh, they are going to go out to you approximately Tuesday. Now, sometimes I'm able to get things out earlier if that's the case. Just be pleasantly surprised when you see that uh, shipping notification pop up. But plan on Tuesday, and we'll kind of go from there. I don't really think we're going to have to worry about consolation cards. I know we're not going to have to in Prism. There is, I guess, a remote possibility that somebody could get skunked in Spectra Basketball. And if that happens to you and you don't pull anything, not a single card, you are still going to get a package in the mail. It'll have consolation cards in it, and they will ship out with the rest of the break since it is a paid shipping break. So first up tonight... An eight box case of 1819 Spectra Basketball. It is a full case break. Break number one ended tonight on eBay, Friday night, the 17th of May. And of course, team names are on one side, and the user ID of our winning eBay bidder is across from each team there on the opposite side. And a new spreadsheet will be displayed, of course, before we do Prism. That one is just for Spectra Basketball, which is up first tonight. The last little piece of business here, you're going to notice that the background goes out of focus by a bit, and that is on purpose, so try not to sweat that, because we're still going to be able to see everything we need to see with no problem. Well, hi, Greg. I haven't seen you in a while. How are things with you? Greg is in chat. So is James and Danny and Mark. Danny's got the Warriors and the Knicks. Mark has got the Blazers. All right, they've got Spectra in little boxes this year, which I'm kind of grateful for. You know, so they used to put them in these gigantic boxes. I'm kind of happier that it's in a, a little smaller, kind of more manageable kind of packaging here this year. And I think what I will do is maybe we'll just... I don't know. Do we want to take how many packs are in each one of these boxes? Is it just the one? I think it's just the one, but we're going to, yeah. So we're going to take all of our packs and get them out of the way first and then worry about looking in each pack after we get each pack out of the box. I think that's a good plan. Jason is here and so is Kirk. Hi, Jason and Kirk. And I tore, I took out everything that time, didn't I? <laughs> Insert the whole nine yards came rolling out of the pack on that one. Oh, and now I'm knocking things around. Knocked the box over. 
what are you going to do? I got all happy, didn't I, trying to pull the packs out. <laughs> like, you know me, I get anxious when we get the new stuff in. I like to look at it. I'm trying to get it out of here quickly. Yeah, Jason, Spectra basketball is first because it's the fastest. Many of you who break with me often, you know that's generally speaking the way I do things. The stuff that breaks fastest is most of the time going to be at the front of the break and things that take longer to break are usually going to be at the back end. That's just to make it a little more efficient for everybody. Greg, you bought yourself a Reese Hoskins Tier 1 uh, number to five. Well, that sounds like a, a nice looking card. Clear card, you said. Well, cool. Hopefully you got a good deal on it. I'm sure you did or you wouldn't have bought it, right? <laughs> Although occasionally I buy things that aren't a good deal if I really want them. We all do that, right? Justin, you need the Milwaukee Bucks, huh? All right, well, we'll work on your Milwaukee Bucks. Meanwhile, let me get some sleeves out on the table here so that we can get ready to go. And we're going to get our first look at 2019 Spectra Basketball. And of course, probably most of you have opened this before, but these are um, nice thick cards. Uh, there's a lot of parallels and things to our base cards in addition to our hits and, and whatnot. So first up, we have a little Enos Cantor up uh, for, I started to say the Knicks, I'm so used to saying the Knicks, Portland Trail Blazers to 175. Behind that, you have a Lonzo Ball for the Lakers, and that one is uh, a base, just a base refractor. It didn't appear to be numbered. Sometimes we have a base, or yeah, we do, on the bottom. A uh, parallel, I should say. Brandon Ingram to 99 for the Lakers. Now, from here on in, it gets a little more interesting. Chris Paul, numbered to 25. Nice looking relic for the Rockets. Boston Celtics, numbered to 25 with Xavier McDaniel autograph. J.J. Redick and the 76ers, also numbered to 25, also autograph. Colin Sexton to 49, Cleveland Cavaliers autograph. And we've got a redemption. You know what that means. I'm going to leave it face down and torture you like it's Game of Thrones. We are leaving it right there. And at the end of the break, we will flip it over along with any other redemptions that we might find. And I see one's going to be in this pack too. And then we'll check them all out at once and we'll go to the Panini website and get them all verified, find out what they're going to be numbered to and all that stuff. C.J. McCollum to 75 Portland Trail Blazers. Clint Capella and the Rockets numbered to 175. Behind that, Jaron Jackson Jr., nice little rookie card, hit to 49 for the Memphis Grizzlies. And we are coming up next on the Hornets to 99. Kimba Walker, Relic. Alvin Adams for the Phoenix Suns. That is traveling back in time a little bit. It is numbered to 60 with scope pattern and autograph there. Jalen Rose, wow, for the Pacers to 60. Another redemption. It's going to sit right there with its, uh, with its friend. We'll flip them both at the end. The Thunder, Hamadou Diallo to 49. A little rookie ink and relic there. And that one is, uh, I had to double check it, but that's actually hard signed. That, that one's not a sticker autograph for Diallo. Shea Gilgis Alexander, number 99 for the Clippers. Mark Gasol, 175 Raptors. 
to 49. That is for the Miami Heat with Goran Dragic. Chris Stapp's Porzingis to 49. Um, of course, Mavericks, because he's been traded to the Mavericks. I realize the photograph shows him in a Knicks uniform, but the team name says Mavericks at the bottom. It says Mavericks on the back. That is his current team, and so that's where that goes. Of course, the uniform was worn when he was a member of the Knicks, but cards are always going to go to the team that is designated on the card. So Chris Stapps to the Mavericks. The Miami Heat, numbered to 75 with Bam Adebayo, sophomore player for the Heat. And that is also hard signed. Jay Allen, right on time, he says, hey, I have Miami in, uh, oh, but you're in Prism. Dang, you're not, I was thinking you were saying you had Miami in here. Dang on it. Sorry, Jay Allen. Well, we'll try to get it for you in Prism Baseball then. Terry Rozier to 75, Boston Celtics. Musa to 75 for the Brooklyn Nets. And here comes more Colin Sexton. This one's numbered to 99, autograph and relic. And that also appears to be hard sign there for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Pistons have Blake Griffin numbered to 75. There's Chris Stapps again. Once again, same story, guys. Ignore the uniform. Team on the card is Mavericks. That's where it goes. Numbered to 175. And another Maverick, Tim Hardaway Jr. This one is not numbered, uh, just a base card, but it is a refractor. It's a base prism. Anyway, Mikhail Bridges to 10 for the Phoenix Suns. And, um, you know, that's kind of a cool-looking relic, numbered to 10. It should be, though, if it's numbered that low. Sydney Moncrief, there's a Milwaukee buck for you. And Sydney is numbered to 75. The award-winning uh, is the card set on that one. Here come the Knicks with Walt Frazier. Walt Frazier is numbered to 49. Also the award-winning card set. Jason Williams, the Miami Heat, making it rain, numbered to 10. And the Lakers with Mo Wagner to 299. With a little rookie action, hard signed autograph and relic on Mo Wagner. Laurie Markinen for the Bulls. Numbered to 99. The big man, Anthony Davis, for NOLA to 175. I guess I could get the empty wrapper off the table. Might be helpful. <laughs> Tell you, I get excited sometimes about seeing what's in things. Miritich, Bucks, numbered to 25. I really didn't even necessarily remember they traded him to the Bucks. Uh, see, sometimes it happens to me too. <laughs> Embiid to 99, 76ers relic. Atlanta Hawks, you have Kevin Willis to 60. Behind that, Sacramento Kings with Mitch Richmond. What was Mitch numbered to? Is there a number on this thing? Yeah, it's up at the top to 75. A third redemption. Yay, our pile's getting large, isn't it? Redemptions. And Grayson Allen to 299. Hard signed in relic for the Jazz. <laughs> right as Kirk says, need some Jazz. There was one. <laughs> See? Isn't that, isn't that nice when you just can say, hey, I need this. And then just all of a sudden, there it is. <laughs> I like that plan. Enos Cantor for the Portland Trailblazers, numbered to 75. Embiid, 175 for the 76ers. And Patience Pays Off, a little uh, headliners as our card set. That's Marvin Bagley for the Kings. 
that's a new card set obviously this year we don't that might fall like roughly once per case but i'm not 100 percent sure about that don't absolutely quote me on that but they're not gonna obviously be super common the 76ers zyra smith to 99 zaza to 60 detroit pistons Behind this is Dan Issel, and that is for the Nuggets. It's numbered to 25. Of course, Dan Issel played for my University of Kentucky Wildcats back in the day, but he's headed to the Denver Nuggets on that card. Gary Trent Jr. to 60 for the Trailblazers. Oh, there we go, kids. For the Dallas Mavericks, would you like to have Luca? I bet you would, to 299 with a hard signed autograph and a relic. And um, let's, well, I'm trying, it does have, I, you know, sometimes I don't know. I used to always just, I wouldn't even think twice and I would just put them in a one touch. But some people, when they have a uh, more of a chrome type surface, they don't like that. So I guess I won't put it in one. But at any rate, Luca out for the Mavericks. Nice hit, Dallas. And Dallas was at a really, really, really reasonable price tonight. So, in fact, everything was at a really reasonable price tonight. But anyway, you should do all right there with Dallas. Goran Dragic, it is numbered to 99 for the Miami Heat. Steph Curry to 175 for the Warriors. The Cleveland Cavaliers, Colin Sexton to 49. The Pistons, Bruce Brown. Bruce is numbered to 99 with a relic. The Pacers, wow, that's really far back, to 75 with uh, Rick Smits. So Indiana taking one home. Jamal Mashburn, another former University of Kentucky guy. Dallas Mavericks to 60 with Mashburn. Javon Carter, Memphis Grizzlies to 10. I wish that had been Jaron Jackson Jr. for you, but nonetheless, always good to have something to 10, right? Another redemption. We are going to have, we're, you know, our redemptions are multiplying. We have four of them now. And we are now on last box mojo, right? So means we've got to call forth all of the collective mojo and try to pull some big fiery hits, although the Luca was already a pretty big fiery hit out of the last one. Number to 99, that's the Toronto Raptors and Kyle Lowry. DeAndre Ayton to 175 for the Phoenix Suns. The Clippers with Landry. Finally, they have him as a Clipper. You know, he got traded like... A long time ago and he's been in every card set as a 76 or finally we're starting to see some of the some of the trades reflected on our cards Chicago Bulls to 49 Wendell Carter jr. relic another making it rain Jeff Hornacek for the Suns that one is numbered to 75 and um, how about making it rain again <laughs> why not Numbered to 60 for the Knicks, Allen Houston. Trey Young, we were already having a really nice case with Luca. Let's just add Trey Young to 25 to it. Uh huh, right? <laughs> Why does nobody love Spectra? I don't know. Spectra's like always the stepchild, it never seems to get as much love as some of the other basketball products, but you pull some amazing stuff out of it. Witness Trey Young and Luca out of the same case. That's what I'm saying. Michaelic numbered to 299. Lakers hard signed autograph and relic. The Trey Young was a sticker, by the by, if I did not say that. The the Luca was on card, but the Trey Young was a sticker. All right, so we're gonna be recapping in a moment, but before we get to that, we have this to do. We've got four redemptions. We're going to flip them over here in a second. Then we'll head over to the Panini website and we will find out what these are numbered to. And of course, verify our teams and all that fun stuff. 
Um, Dave, Prism Baseball is when we finish Spectra. Justin says, yeah, he agrees. He thinks the headshot is, is one per case. That's kind of what I thought, but I wasn't absolutely going to swear to it because sometimes I think things are case hits and Panini hasn't specifically promised them as case hits and then you'll have a case where one's not in it, you know, that sort of thing. So, Oh, and Presley, that was your Trey Young. Well, yeah, congratulations on that. That was nice. And uh, this is going to head to Atlanta, too, I believe. Omari Spellman, rookie jersey autographs, neon green. Next up is Patrick Beverly in the zone autographs, neon green. Behind that is Alan Crabb in the zone autographs, neon blue. That should be the Nets. And Wendell Carter Jr., he's going to be the Bulls. Rookie jersey autographs, neon blue. So a couple of neon blues, a couple of neon greens. And uh, all of them, we got to go look up, don't we? So Panini can uh, get it all verified. You know how I like to do this. Even when we know for sure where something goes, I still like to put it on the screen so that everyone can see it from the website of the card issuer. I think it just, you know. Makes it a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Official? Is official the right word? Maybe not, but anyway, you know what I mean. So let's first go to Rookie Jersey Autographs Neon Blue is what we're looking for here. Rookie Jersey Autographs Neon Blue. Card number 124 should be Window Carter Jr. And there he is for the Bulls as expected. And it is going to be numbered to 99. Give me a second. I'm going to label these up as we go. Now we had another rookie jersey autograph, but it is neon green as opposed to neon blue. So let's get that up here. This card number 102, Amari Spellman Atlanta Hawks, is going to be to 49. So the Hawks uh, already, of course, had the nice Trey Young. You can add to your tally right there with Amari Spellman. We are now headed to In the Zone Autographs Neon Blue. Ah, there you are. Card number five. The Brooklyn Nets, as expected, it will be numbered to 60. And then we had an In the Zone Neon Green. So let's switch over to Neon Green here. Oh, shoot. I said the wrong thing. Daggone it. How did I get up in there? Let's try that again. Card number 13, Mr. Patrick Beverly is numbered to 49. Let me get it labeled up here, and then we are going to be ready to recap it. So let me bring you back to my view, and we can start uh, doing a little recapping. So this, uh, the Patience Pays, pays Off, that's our, our headliners card. Once again, uh, I believe to be a case hit. And someone agreed with me, Justin, I think, said the same. But, you know, I don't remember for sure if the Panini literature specifically, like, promised it in every case or not. So don't absolutely hold me to that, but that's my belief anyway. Here's that handsome Trey Young card. Man, that is sweet. Number to 25 for the Hawks. Allen Houston made an appearance for the Knicks. The Chicago Bulls with Wendell Carter Jr. The Dallas Mavericks uh, with Jamal Mashburn. But that's the one the Dallas Mavericks care about. That bad boy right there. Luca. Relic, autograph, numbered to 299 for Dallas. Dan Issel for the Nuggets. The 76ers and Zaire Smith. The Lakers with Michalik. Jeff Hornacek for the Suns. Javon Carter, that one is numbered to 10 for the Memphis Grizzlies. Smits for the Pacers, Brown for the Pistons, Gary Trent Jr. for the Trailblazers, Zaza and the Pistons, 
For the Jazz, Grayson Allen. Then you have Mitch Richmond for the Kings. The Atlanta Hawks with Kevin Willis. Jason Williams, numbered to 10 for the Miami Heat. Chris Stapps Porzingis, once again, remember he is a Maverick. He's in a New York Knicks uniform, but team noted as a Maverick, which is his current team. 76ers, Embiid. The Lakers with Mo Wagner. Walt Frazier made an appearance for the New York Knicks. And another nice throwback there with Sidney Moncrief and the Bucks. Number to 10, it's Mikhail Bridges and the Phoenix Suns. Oklahoma City Thunder, Hamadou Diallo to 49. Jalen Rose for the Pacers. Alvin Adams for the Suns. That one is Kimba Walker for the Hornets. Colin Sexton, Cleveland Cavaliers. And Colin Sexton, Cleveland Cavaliers. <laughs> Musa for the Nets. Terry Rozier, Celtics. Bam Adebayo, Miami Heat. And J.J. Redick, 76ers. The Celtics with Xavier McDaniel. And uh, the Rockets and Chris Paul. So that is case number one of Spectra. We will be breaking Spectra again tomorrow night. So for those of you who are interested in it, uh, yeah, we'll be doing that one again tomorrow. Meanwhile, let's get set up here to do a little prism baseball bear with me a second i've got to get our spreadsheet ready to go here and then we're going to take a look at a little prism baseball so you probably saw this a minute ago right most of you well not a minute ago oh wait you know what i forgot to re <laughs> recap our redemptions hold on a minute i forgot to recap our redemptions for the Bulls, it was Wendell Carter Jr. to 99. For the Hawks, Amari Spellman to 49. For the Clippers, Patrick Beverly to 49. And for the Nets, Alan Crabb to 60. Sorry about that. You know, we did those right at the end, and I set them off to the side like a big dummy and forgot to recap them. But now they're recapped. <laughs> All right. So now, now we're back to uh, where we were which is, I expect uh, what we're opening tonight to get out the door and on the way to you approximately Tuesday. If I can get something out faster than that, I will absolutely be happy to do so. If you got skunked in Spectra and you didn't get anything, not a base card or one single thing, you will still get a package. It will have consolation cards in it and it will ship with the rest of the break. Uh, Prism Baseball, I don't think we're going to need to worry about consolation cards because there's a ton of cards in that break. Everybody's going to get some. It is a six-box half case of 2019 Prism Baseball. It's a half case break. This is break number two. Product came out on Wednesday night, and we opened the first half of the case on Wednesday night. And this half ended tonight on eBay, Friday night, the 17th of May. Same format as before with team names on one side, our eBay user ID for the winning bidder across from each team on the opposite side. And yeah, give me just one second here to get these boxes on the table and we'll be ready to go. There's a lot of cards in these. And there's a lot of parallels in them too. So generally speaking, um, through the first box, we'll probably go a little bit slower than we will go in later boxes. Because in the first box, I'll kind of give you an idea of what we're looking for, what's going to be numbered, what's not, and that sort of thing. And then in subsequent boxes, you know, we'll move through most of that a little bit faster because there are a lot of cards in this break. So we don't want to get too bogged down in it hopefully well Jason you are back just in time then 
we just finished up uh, Spectra a minute ago, so you are right on time. Mark, I agree with you. I thought that was a very nice case of Spectra. We had some excellent hits in it. Uh, I'm a fan of Spectra, personally. I like the look of the cards. I always think we get pretty good hits in it, but it, it definitely lags behind a lot of the other basketball products it seems like in terms of bidding and it's actually one of the more expensive products i mean it's it's an extremely expensive case of cards and i don't know why it's not quite as popular maybe it's maybe it has to do with the way it was for a long time it wasn't configured the same way that it is now and you didn't get as much rookie content but they started changing that in 16-17. They added a little. In 17-18, they added more. And this year, they, of course, as you saw, there's tons of rookie content in there this year. So who knows? Maybe it will Maybe it'll pick up a little bit. Jay Allen, uh, you said you're back for just a second. All right. Well, we're going we're gonna to try to get your, your Marlins and your Phillies uh, to do something for you here tonight in prism baseball if we can so there are going to be plenty of just basic silver prisms like this that are not numbered it's the same as we would see a silver prism in basketball or uh, football any of our other sports so i'm not going to every time say silver prism i mean i think you guys know what they are but what i will try to do is just read off the player name as one goes through this pattern is called Mojo, and when we find Mojo um, in this particular color combination, it is numbered to 299. And then lots and lots of base, of course, in here. There are plenty of blue parallels, and the blue parallels are not numbered. It's Trevor Story for the Rockies. So they are prisms, and they are parallels, but not numbered. Scorching is just an insert set. Occasionally we might find one that is a, a prism, but most of them are just base inserts like that. And here's Jake Bowers. This is uh, numbered to 399. So our red mojo was to 299. Our blue mojo is to 399. Trying to think what else we need to know. Oh, we'll find some three autographs per box. I don't think I said that. But we will find that there are zebra uh, parallels in here, numbered to 99. They're actually fairly plentiful, we found out in the first half of the case. This is numbered to 75, and it is the Atlanta Braves. That is Chad <coughs> Saboka, something like that. This is the red prism that doesn't have a pattern on it. Red prisms without a pattern are just like blue prisms without a pattern. There is no number on it. These also are unnumbered, but they are cool little inserts. This, with uh, kind of the sparkle on it, for lack of a better term, is numbered to 199, Jeremy Jeffress. David Wright for the Mets. An instant impact. Again, those are not numbered, but they are nice little inserts. We may eventually find one that's a, a parallel like that that is numbered, but most of them are not going to be. So once again, Blue Mojos are to $3.99. And um, obviously we know which ones are numbered and which ones aren't, so I'm not going to, again, read all those off. That is a Mike Trout insert for Lumber, Inc., and those, while handsome, also not numbered. Here's an example of our zebra, and it is to 99. Edwin Encarnacion and the Seattle Mariners have that one. All right, now, so that's kind of how... How it's going to look. I'll obviously read off the autographs and some of the names, but we're not necessarily going to go through and, you know, state all that stuff every time. Although I may sometimes. You just never know. 
So does anybody know how badly the Dodgers are smacking my poor Cincinnati Reds? The last I looked, um, we were down something terrible. <laughs> it's probably just gotten worse. <laughs> we didn't even have a run on the board. I think we were down five zip. The last I saw to 75 Reese McGuire Blue Jays. So I don't know if that's changed or probably it's gotten worse. Maybe you shouldn't tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Our second autograph out of this box is for the White Sox. It's numbered to 60. That is the wave pattern. Michael Kopic. And those are generally going to be numbered to 60 when they are waves. Just by the by. And this little checkerboard patterns, those are to 75, generally speaking. Brett Kennedy, numbered to 60 for the Padres. And that was our third autograph out of this box. A Brilliance, I don't think we've looked at that insert before. This particular one is for Corey Kluber. And the Cleveland Indians, sadly, again, that is another insert set that isn't numbered. Colorado Rockies, Wade Davis, Blue Mojo to $3.99. Brandon Lowe, Tampa Bay Rays. That might be the first we've seen of this insert, too stargazing every once in a while we'll find a stargazing that is a refractor but most of them are base like that it's to 399 blue mojo cinder guard oh it is six uh six to nothing bottom of the ninth <laughs> yeah that is pretty bad it's not much worse than it was the last time i saw them <laughs> but thank you jeremy for letting me know Greg says I could should pick another team to follow. Yeah, I'm not really much in the fair weather fan department, Greg. I, I like my team good years and bad years. And Lord knows you have to be that way if you're going to be a Reds fan because there's a whole lot more bad years than good years. But, yeah, I don't really fall into that fair weather fan category. So I, I keep with my boys even, even when we're not great. Justice Sheffield. This is a blue mojo. Justin Williams for uh, St. Louis to $3.99. This brilliance uh, is a prism. Severino and the Yankees. It's still not numbered, but it is uh, a prism nonetheless. Red Urena. Marquez for the Rockies to $199. Reese McGuire, Blue Jays, to 199 George Brett, Kansas City Royals. And there goes box number one in the books. Was that box? Yeah, it was box number one. I was like, wait a minute, that was just number one, wasn't it? I had to think about that a minute. Oy, has been a long week, hasn't it? Why do I keep why do I keep hitting things tonight? I was reaching over to try to keep the screen from timing out there on the laptop and bumped right into something else. So, next week we've got only Legacy Football coming out on Wednesday. I don't know if we've got anything coming out next Friday or not. So, we may not have any new baseball next week. I can't remember about Friday, but we definitely don't Wednesday. So, we'll be opening more Bowman, more Prism, uh, and like that. So, I think we're about to be in our hot box here. I don't know why I put that in sleeve. I didn't really mean to. 
Um, but that is Joey Gallo for the Rangers, and I think uh, maybe we're not going to be in a hot box, but eh, I'm not sure. We might be. Anyway, this particular parallel is not numbered, and uh, there's another one of it, which is why I'm thinking, eh, maybe. Noah Syndergaard. This is our first look at the Illumination insert as well. That's Stanton and the Yankees. Ranger Suarez for the Philadelphia Phillies. So that'll make Jay Allen happy that he gets a little autograph uh, out of there. That is our first autograph out of box number two. So we've got a couple more yet to find. Some more parallels. Wade Boggs for the Red Sox and John Lester for the Cubbies. Christian Yelich for the Brewers. A second autograph out of box number two is Roselle Herrera for the Miami Marlins. What are the odds, right? Those are both Jay Allen's teams, and they both just came out back-to-back -back out of box number two. It's like a whole box for Jay Allen, isn't it? Well, we do still have another autograph to find, so we don't know for sure if it's a whole box for him, but... Matt Olson Lumber Ink. Again, that one is a refractor. A lot of times those Lumber Inks are not, but that one was. An unnumbered Whit Merrifield for the Royals. Unnumbered uh, Rodon for the White Sox. Pilar and the Blue Jays. And our third autograph. They're all coming out right here together. Ryan O'Hearn. Kansas City Royals, number 35. It's got the scope pattern on it, I do believe. If you can kind of, well, yeah, if you, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a there is a pattern on there It's scope, but it just doesn't maybe show up super well on camera. Kind of dark, that card was. Jose Martinez, Trevor Williams, and Steven Duggar. Blue Mojo, Jesus Aguilar to $3.99, Brewers. That is Gabriel Guerrero for the Marlins. Chris Archer, Pirates. Uh, Mondesi for the Royals. And I wish that Mike Trout had been a, an autograph. Wouldn't that have been nice? But it's actually a machines insert. For Mike Trout and the Angels. Blue Mojo to $3.99. That's Javier uh, Guerra. Yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I know that shocks you, right? That I would mispronounce a name. <laughs> There's Peralta for the Diamondbacks and Herrera for the Phillies. Sean Newcomb, Atlanta Braves. And we do get a little extra autograph in this box, right? That's our fourth one out of this box, I'm pretty sure. Rowdy Telez, Toronto to 10. How about that, Blue Jays? I mean, I know Rowdy Telez is not exactly who you wanted. Uh, you're looking for Vlad Guerrero Jr., I'm sure. But still, to 10 and Rowdy, that's not too shabby. That's pretty decent, I think. Well, good grief. Sometimes the rappers don't want to cooperate with me. They give me grief. Alright, let's get all these wrappers out of the way and see what we might have. Miguel Sano, Minnesota Twins, Marte for the Pirates, Benintendi for the Red Sox, and this is definitely our hot box because we're still pulling autographs. This is our fifth, I think, out of this box, and it is 
Oh, boy. I'm just going to go with Avellino. I'm not going to attempt that first name for the San Francisco Giants. I have no idea how to say the first name. Absolutely none. Zero idea. Not even hazarding a guess on that one. Francisco Lindor, Indians, Danny Jansen, Blue Jays, Kyle Wright, Atlanta Braves, fireworks insert. That's the first we've seen of that tonight. A zebra to 99 for the Cardinals with Yadier Molina. And our hot box is the gift that keeps on giving. Maybe it'll give us some more autographs in here. I would like that. Travis Shaw. Milwaukee Brewers, Justin Turner for the Dodgers, Nelson Cruz, Minnesota Twins, a red mojo to 299, Dennis Santana. And Andrew Haney comes out for the Angels. Oh, Jeff, uh, Tampa Bay Rays, I have no idea in regard to parallels and numbered cards and that kind of stuff. Absolutely no idea. I don't think that we've hit an autograph for them that I remember anyway, but, you know, my trusting my memory on that is also not 100%. George Springer and the Astros, Jalen Beeks and Tampa Bay Rays, as a matter of fact, Yadier Molina and the St. Louis Cardinals, all parallels. Of course, we do recap the autographs at the end always. Tanner Rainey, numbered to 75. And Tanner is out for my Cincinnati Reds. Patrick Wisdom, Rangers. Sean Manea, Oakland A's. Walker Bueller, insert to 199. Aw, Robin Yant, throwback. Brewers. Blake Trinian, Oakland A's. Matt Chapman, Oakland A's. Remuto, Philadelphia Phillies. And this is our first uh, shimmer of the night. Well, that's what Topps calls it. Topps calls this particular pattern shimmer. I'm not really sure if Panini calls it shimmer or not, but that's what I'm going to refer to it as anyway. And it happens to be numbered to 25. It's for the Mariners with Justice Sheffield. All right, box number two, our hot box, is in the books. And we are moving onward and upward into box number three. Oh, Dave, you like the Molina Zebra? Cool, cool, cool. I like the Zebras. They have more of them in here than I was expecting, though. I will say that. I kind of expected... I, I was thinking it would probably come out pretty infrequently like it did uh, in some of the products that we opened earlier this year, like Select had some Zebras in it, and some of them, you know, they weren't as... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Plentiful. So when I first saw them Wednesday night, I thought, oh yeah, we're probably not going to have very many. And then we ended up having a decent number of them, but I do like them. I think they're pretty cool. And they are still numbered to 99, so and that's a reasonably low number, relatively speaking. All right, let's stop and see what we have before we finish going through the rest. David Wright, Mets, Bryce Harper. He is uh, Phillies on there. You know, every once in a while they'll put players in there for their former team. So I do try to note that sort of stuff. And Austin Dean here for the Miami Marlins is a red mojo to 299. Garrett Cole, Astros, John Carlos Stanton. This is to 199. Tejeda for the Oakland A's.
Brett Kennedy autograph. Did we pull a Brett Kennedy autograph earlier? Or did we pull a Brett Kennedy something else that wasn't an autograph? I can't remember now. San Diego Padres. There's a blue Javi Baez, Cubbies. Blue Mojo Biggio Astros to 399. This guy again. We pulled this guy earlier as well. Now I'm sure we pulled him because I wasn't sure how to pronounce his last name then or now. Sabotka for the Atlanta Braves. I'm pretty certain that's the second one of those we've pulled anyway. I think it is Red Mojo uh, Suarez Phillies 299. Mookie Betts stargazing. It's unnumbered, but it is a prism on that insert set. Justin Smoke Blue Jays, another little zebra to 99. Miggy Miguel Cabrera Detroit Tigers. Hernandez, Toronto Blue Jays, a Blue Mojo, Caleb Ferguson to 399, Dodgers, who just smoked my reds like a Christmas ham. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Let's see what we've got in the back half of this box. Wade Davis to 199. It's David Fletcher for the Angels. Jose Abreu, White Sox to 299. White Sox, Copic. Dakota Hudson, Cardinals, Blue Mojo to $3.99, Kershaw and the Dodgers. Bad thing is I really kind of like the Dodgers as well. You know, I lived in L.A. for a while, so I like the Dodgers not as well as I like my Reds, but I do like them. So it's kind of, you know, hard when the Dodgers play the Reds. It's like, eh, I kind of like you Dodgers, but I really don't like you smoking my Reds. <laughs> Pilar, Blue Jays. To 199, Moncada, White Sox. Benintendi, Red Sox. An Aaron Judge insert. This scope should be numbered to 35, Mustakas. And it is, of course, uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Green's trying to time out on me. Oh, the Padres are going to be happy here in a hot second. Fernando Tatis Jr. Yeah, baby. There's your man for the Padres. Ortiz, Orioles. To 199, that's Blake Snell, Tampa Bay Rays. And we are officially at the halfway point. Three boxes down and three to go here with Prism Baseball tonight. I know, my stupid squeaky chair, it makes so much noise. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to make it not make noise. Probably the answer would be get a different chair, huh? Yeah, maybe. 
Maybe, maybe. Always wanted one of those ergonomically correct chairs. I think it's uh, it's Herman Miller. I think that makes them. They are so nice. But do you know those chairs are like a thousand dollars? So yeah, I'm not spending a thousand dollars for a desk chair. That's just not happening. But if I were going to spend a thousand dollars for a desk chair, I would. That would be the one. I mean, they're like such a comfortable chair. Robinson Cano, Mets. Red Mojo to $2.99. Suarez, my Cincinnati Reds. Yehenio. Castillo, Cincinnati Reds. A Red Mojo Robin Yount, Brewers to $2.99. Moncada, White Sox. To 199 Valdez Astros. Strasburg Nationals. Red Mojo to 299 Dwayne Underwood. Chris Davis Lumber Inc. That is a prism. Brandon Lowe, Tampa Bay. There comes a checkerboard pattern. Uh, what did I say? Those are 75, I think, is what those are numbered to. Bryce Harper, Philadelphia Phillies, 275. Rodriguez, numbered to 25. Jerry Rodriguez is... For the Cleveland Indians. So you've got the what I'm calling shimmer. Because that's what Topps calls that pattern. I need to look up and see what Panini calls it. And try to retain it. I know. Doc Gooden. This ought to be number to 10 I believe. San Francisco Giants. I'm sorry it's not to 10. It's to 150. It's Duggar. I thought that was the pattern to 10, but I was completely and utterly entirely wrong. That is to 150 for the Giants. So, there you go. That's why I flipped it over, right? Let me make sure. I guess that's more orange than gold, technically. Okay, we have got what coming up here? Walker Bueller, Dodgers. We're going to get it right this time to 150. Pablo Reyes, Pirates. David Wright, Mets. Blue Mojo to 3.99. Paxton and the Yankees. I always think of him as a Mariner. I have a hard time remembering that he's a Yankee. I mean, I do, but I don't. And here come the Atlanta Braves. And you know I'm going to completely butcher his last name. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick with Mike. I'm going to butcher it. So, Blue Mojo Ken Griffey Jr., 399 Seattle Mariners. Josh James. Josh is not numbered. Coming out for the Houston Astros. That's Gabriel Guerrero 
for the Miami Marlins. Fireworks insert with Goldie on it. Severino, Yankees, Blue Mojo, 399. And there is Tampa Bay Rays, JJ Manchoy. To 150, it's Alex Bregman and the Houston Astros. Anthony Rendon, Nationals. To 299, Trey Turner, also Nationals. All right, we are getting ready to tear into box number five of six. see what we've got. Francisco Lindor, Indians. That's to 199, Jose Martinez, St. Louis Cardinals. Adam Jones, Orioles. To 399, Blue Mojo, Wade Davis, Rockies. Derek Rodriguez, San Francisco Giants. Red Mojo, 299 Cole Stewart, Twins. Marquez for the Rockies. And here comes Thor for the Mets. And that pattern uh, is numbered to 50. That's the first time we've seen this particular pattern tonight. That looks like snake skin to me. I'm sure that's not what Panini calls it, right? I'm sure they call it something else. But that's what it looks like to me. But those are numbered to 50 when we find them. It just happens to be the first one we've seen tonight. It didn't show up for a while. Danny Jansen, Toronto Blue Jays. Jalen Beeks to 399. The Big Hurt, Blue Mojo, White Sox. Oh, they really do call it snakeskin. Huh, see, that's what I was calling it, and that really is what Panini calls it. <laughs> they have so many different pattern names. I very seldom remember what they all are. Tops is much more efficient. They just have a few pattern names and it's super easy to retain them all. But Panini has a lot and they don't always call them this. Hardly ever do they call them the same thing that Tops calls them. And sometimes they'll call a pattern one thing in hobby and then a pattern that looks almost identical. They'll call it something else in retail and they really get into naming their patterns. So some I, I probably... Uh, some I know, some I, some I guess, like snakeskin, <laughs> just because it looked like that. Wow, second time we pulled him for the Atlanta Braves tonight. So we've had a few duplicates come out of this half case. In fact, there's two or three players, I think, that we've duplicated in here. It's Chris Sale for the Red Sox, Blue Mojo, Hernandez to 399 Blue Jays. And Camargo, Atlanta Braves, a little zebra to 99 for the Tampa Bay Rays, Kalarik, Danny Jansen, Blue Jays, 
to 150 Suarez Cincinnati Reds. Josh James, here's another duplicate. And that is Houston Astros. I mean, it may be a, it's a duplicate player. It could be a parallel signature. In other words, one might be red, the other one might not, etc. But I'm just strictly speaking about the fact that it's the second autograph for that particular player. Dwight Gooden, 199 Mets. Which is even more interesting considering that we, you know, randomized the boxes when we did the first part of the case. So you would have thought not only the randomization of putting the hits in the boxes, but then us mixing up the boxes out of the case to 150 Jeanette for the Reds, that the likelihood of pulling duplicates for that many players out of one half of the case would have been fairly low, but yet there you are. Scherzer, Nats, to 150, it's Harrison Bader, St. Louis Cardinals. Um, Dave, you said you've seen a lot of duplications in a lot of different cases, so it's not unique to this one then. Trevor Story and the Rockies. There's Rowdy and the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, now, I thought that that might be numbered, but it isn't. Here's another little snake skin for us. Mariners, Justice Sheffield, numbered to 50. So, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised. You would think at least, you know, by randomizing the boxes that we take out of the case... You would think that would even lessen it that much more, that some of them would have maybe fallen in the first half of the case, right? <laughs> Instead of all falling together in the second half. But anyway, what are you going to do? So we'll, we're going to break the next case of this also by the half case. And after that, we may switch to doing full cases at once and just like not shipping veteran base or something like that. Um, we may switch to that format down the road. Or we might do a full case and still ship better in base. I don't know. It's just a lot of cards. It's between 17 and 1800 cards, I want to say. If we did the full case, it's, it's quite a an undertaking. Not so much to break it, but to sort it and ship it with that many. Because, you know, we break prism basketball and prism football sometimes by the full case, sometimes by the half. And whenever we do the full, it's always an ordeal to get it out the door. Joey Gallo for the Rangers. Red Mojo to $2.99. Moncada, White Sox. Did I say Last Box Mojo? I don't know if I did or not. If I didn't, we need to invoke Last Box Mojo and hope to get a big hit out of here. Chicago White Sox, Jose Abreu. And there's Danny Jansen for the Blue Jays, number to 75. Wow, the last break you watched, they had three Patrick Wisdom and three Luke Weaver autographs in the same case. Dang. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Francisco Lindor, Indians. It says Blue Mojo, Wade Boggs. Uh to 399 for the Red Sox. A Whit Merrifield Prism Illumination. You know, Illumination is usually not a Prism, so that's kind of a nice little surprise. Nelson Cruz Twins to 199. A-Rod as a Mariner. Look how young. Isn't that crazy? Baby Alex uh, Rodriguez for the Mariners to 199. Next up is Brandon Belt, San Francisco Giants. That is um, Dale Murphy on a red mojo to 299 for the Atlanta Braves. Trevor Williams, Pirates, Blue Mojo, Kyle Schwarber to $3.99, Cubbies, 
closing in on it. We're getting there. We're getting there, kids. of the last box in this half case so let's see what we can find that uh, makes us happy out of here number to 99 it's Pablo Lopez Miami Marlins that'll make J. Allen happy it's a zebra too Eugenio Suarez, Cincinnati Reds, Red Mojo, Chris Davis, Oakland A's to 299. A blue Sean Reed Foley. A blue Mojo to 399. Corey Dickerson, Pittsburgh Pirates. Gabriel Guerrero, Miami Marlins. I see a little green to 199 on the on the bottom of that stack. Let's just grab it. David Bodie, Chicago Cubs. Baby. Trevor Story, Colorado Rockies. Of course, Trevor got injured uh, the other day, leading the way for uh, Brendan Rogers to finally maybe find his home. In the big in the big leagues, Harold Castro Tigers to 199. That is AJ Pollock Dodgers. Richie Martin Baltimore Orioles. Danny Jansen Toronto Blue Jays. Jeff McNeil and the Mets to 75. A blue uh, Strasburg for the Nationals. A red Mojo Nolan Ryan. Houston Astros to 299. And there you go. That's the last of it. We are going to do a little recapping, of course, um, here in a moment. Let me get some of our numbered cards, kind of some of the lower numbered ones. Let's get them set aside and we'll recap a little bit of that. As well as, of course, our autograph hits. We always recap our autograph hits. So we're not going to do all the numbered stuff because there was a lot of it. We're just going to look at the lowest part of the low numbered stuff again. Um, Jeff is asking if all the cards ship. Yeah, guys, as I mentioned earlier, um, all the cards are shipping out of this break. But more importantly, it's always going to tell you in the listing description if it is something other than all the cards shipping, right? So anytime there's a variation and if veteran base doesn't ship or if there's a separate bidding category for something or whatever the variation might be, it will always tell you that in the listing description. So that's... that's um, I always, always suggest that you look in that, especially in that center part where it talks about here's the quantity and the time of the break and the date of the break and the name of the product and all that. That's where all that information would be. So if nothing else, you should probably scroll down to at least that uh, every time just to make sure because sometimes I do change it up. But for the time being, um, all the cards are shipping until, until otherwise uh, listed. Justice Sheffield, 25, Seattle Mariners. Next up is Moustakis to 35 with the scope pattern for the Milwaukee Brewers. Our Snakeskins, Cindergaard for the Mets uh, to 50. And there's, whoops, I got one. What's he doing? He's out of order. Justice <laughs> Sheffield to 50 for the Mariners. Here come our Zebras to 99. It's uh, for the Tampa Bay Rays with Kolarak, Miguel Cabrera to 99, Tigers, 
Molina, St. Louis Cardinals to 99. Edwin Encarnacion, Seattle Mariners, 99. Now why is this guy not in the sleeve? How did he get stacked in there without his... Oh, there's like a couple of them. I guess I, st I must have originally stacked them in the in the other stack. Anyway, Reese McGuire, Toronto Blue Jays to 75. Detroit Tigers, Lugo to 75. Bryce Harper, Phillies to 75. Danny Jansen, Blue Jays to 75. And Jeff McNeil for the Mets to 75. So that is just, I just quickly tried to pull out some of the lower numbered ones, as you guys saw as we went through the break. There's a ton more numbered stuff in here, um, but we're not going to recap all of it. I generally just try to do 99 and below in this, in this particular product just due to the vast number of stuff that's in here. Richie Martin, Baltimore Orioles. Trevor Story, Colorado Rockies. Pablo Lopez, Miami Marlins to 99. There's Josh James for the Houston Astros. Mike, whose last name I can't pronounce, for the Atlanta Braves. Danny Jansen, Blue Jays. Josh James again, Astros. There's Mike again for the Atlanta Braves, just to torture me. <laughs> this is a nice low-numbered one, at least, uh, and a name I can pronounce. Jeffrey Rodriguez to 25 for the Cleveland Indians. Fernando Tatis Jr., San Diego Padres. Atlanta Braves, Chad Saboka, or something maybe not at all close to that. Brett Kennedy for the San Diego Padres. And here you have a little Tanner Rainey for my Cincinnati Reds, numbered to 75, followed by Avellino for the San Francisco Giants, Rowdy Telez to 10, Toronto Blue Jays. This should be numbered to 35, Ryan O'Hearn and the Kansas City Royals, Russell Herrera, Miami Marlins. Ranger Suarez, Philadelphia Phillies, numbered to 60, Brett Kennedy. That's the wave pattern. There's another numbered to 60. That's Michael Kopik and the White Sox. And last but certainly not least, here's our friend Chad again, numbered to 75 for the Atlanta Braves. We had a pair of him as well. So, all right, there you go. That is our break, both of our breaks for tonight, all finished up. I will put up uh, spreadsheet information one more time. For those of you who might have missed it earlier, we're going to take a look at your anticipated shipping date and then also take a look at the breaks that we'll be doing in the days ahead. So once again, what we open tonight should be on the way to you approximately Tuesday. If I can get it out to you faster than Tuesday, I will happily do so. Next, Prism Baseball, you don't need to worry about consolation cards. Every team's got tons of cards headed your way in that one. Inspector, though, if you happen to, to get skunked, if your team didn't pull anything at all, not even a base, excuse me, not even a base card, you are still going to get a package in the mail, and your consolation cards will ship out when the rest of the break ships out since it is a paid break, paid shipping break, I mean. Now, taking a look at what we're breaking in the days ahead. So, tomorrow night, Leaf Best of Sports. And that is all listed by the first letter of the last name. So, like Hank Aaron would go to the A's, George Brett to the B's, etc. And all, this, all the bidding spots are listed in the football category. And Redemption has its own bidding spot. No guarantee we would get a Redemption card. If we do get one, it would most likely be for either autograph memorabilia, signed box of cards, or signed pack of cards, but it does have its own bidding category. Spectra Basketball, of course, will also break again tomorrow night. Sunday night is an off night. Monday night, we're going to get into Bowman Baseball, starting up a new case of that on Monday. Tuesday, we'll do a third case of Spectra Basketball, and we'll start a new case of Prism Baseball. On Wednesday, we have one new release, and it is Legacy Football. We're going to break a 12-box inner case. It's going to be kind of a long break, actually. Um, and it does start at 9 Eastern, and I forgot to put a note on there about that, but it will start at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific on Wednesday night. 
Because it's a, it's a fairly big break. Man, 15, 1,600 cards. And Veteran Base is not going to ship to the teams in that break. Veteran Base has its own bidding category. Teams are going to get inserts, parallels, autographs, relics, and numbered cards, but not any Veteran Base. So that is it for tonight. I think we are all wrapped up. Once again, thanks for being here. I appreciate you spending part of your Friday night with me. I hope you have a fantastic weekend ahead. And uh, we will be back at it tomorrow night. So if I don't see you then, I hope I do see you again sometime soon. Take care. Bye-bye now.